and ladies and gentlemen, this is the Trucker Rudy Show coming to you this fine morning. Yeah, we left about an hour ago, 45 minutes ago, and we're still cruising there along I-94 in Wisconsin. Yeah, we're not too far away from Black River Falls anymore, but uh, yeah, so far so good. Roads look okay. And, uh, could be slick in a spot or two, but other than that, we're looking pretty good here. I haven't really noticed anything out of the ordinary yet, so uh, we're just cruising right on along here. No problem, all. That's the way we like it, right? Yeah, we didn't quite make it as far last night as I really wanted it, but uh, you know that just means I have to start earlier this morning and. But however, I did get far enough to where I do have a good possibility to make it as long as nothing else will go wrong, right? And I did look at the uh, radar there this morning when I got up and it looks like I got a little bit of snow there uh, probably between uh, Madison, Wisconsin and uh, Portage, Wisconsin up there in that area. It looks like I got a little tiny bit to worry about over there, but it doesn't look like that's much anymore. It looks like it's the uh, end of it there, kind of. So uh, nothing happening around Chicago area or anything like that. So I might have about an hour, maybe two hours, where I'll be driving in a little bit of snow yet, or where it's actually snowing, that's what I meant. I mean, I'm driving in kind of a little bit of snow up here too, huh? and I, <laughs> so, yeah, so we might be driving in a little bit of something here yet in a little bit, so uh, we'll just be ready for that. We, uh, we saw quite a few accidents there yesterday uh, on the other side of Minneapolis. There, there was a few slick spots there and people going too fast and then they uh, lose control and hit the ditch and all that fun stuff. But, but yeah, we managed to uh, escape everything there, so we... Uh, we didn't have to deal with anything up there like we're still driving right so we don't have no hiccups over there I uh, managed to get to Wilson Wisconsin last night safely and I filled her up over there because they got number one fuel over there and that's winterized fuel so I kind of like that so I wanted that and then uh, we found us a parking spot and I did my thing that I usually do when you drive in weather like this, especially when it's snowing like it did last night, and a little bit of blowing. Then you park for a while and then you move forward and backwards and you don't pull your trailer brakes because that's where most guys get themselves into trouble, right? So yeah, anyways, that's what we did there last night and then uh, went to bed. Had no issues this morning whatsoever. We were still going, right? So uh, yeah. Looks like it's already starting to snow a little bit there. Almost looks like it. It's kind of hard to say, but it does want to look like it. It is, but oh well. We have to continue on cruising, right? And what I was going to say is uh, by me getting up to Wilson, Wisconsin, that only left me with 1,240 miles to do. So I can generally do uh, 620 miles, no problem, as long as the weather permits it, you know. So let's hope we don't have too much of an issue today. Then we're going to max out our hours today and kind of do the same thing tomorrow. And then we should be there. Yeah, this four-wheeler thinks he's, he's in that no problem of driving either. So looks like he's just giving her. That's all right. I feel comfortable at this speed, and if he feels comfortable at that speed, then so be it, right? All right, guys, look at that, eh? That's my buddy Josh over there. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, too bad we didn't have time to meet up there, or we didn't notice each other there on time, but I'm actually on the phone with him right now, so you're gonna see that on the clip next week, but uh, yeah. Anyways, I'll... Uh, Turn the cameras off and then we'll continue talking to Josh. All right, guys, we just made our pit stop here in uh, South Beloit, Illinois, ladies and gentlemen. We are here at a truck stop. 
the flying hook. We gotta take our half an hour break. So we're gonna go inside of here and uh, take our half an hour break. That was a good bite to eat. Uh, some good breakfast. And then we gotta continue on. I looked at the radar and it looks like right around Chicago, there's like ice raining and mixture of stuff happening there. So I think I'm gonna go around it. I've looked it up and I can go 39 south, go to 74 and go that way to Indy. So, and up there on I-65, there uh, is a section there that's closed up there right now too. So, might be a good idea for me to go around. So, uh, that's what we're going to do. Yeah, look at that. This is where we're at. This is how much snow they got up here. They got a big dump of snow here in the last 24 hours, but... Anyways, we'll go in here and uh, grab us a good bite to eat. Breakfast has arrived, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a look. We got us a T-bone steak and eggs. Ooh, yeah, a glass of orange juice, some coffee. We're good to go. Are you guys hungry yet? Well, I am, so I'm gonna get to eating. All right, it is time to leave the flying hook up here. Yeah, we cleaned all our Today mirrors and Turn left on. side Grand windows Street, and all that good stuff. And so, uh, take the entrance to the ride in 900 feet. All right, RJ, we'll do that then. Now it's time to get out of here so that we uh, we get our miles. And I don't know why it is, but almost every time I stop somewhere and go in and have me a bite to eat, it's like. Uh, Darn, I should be uh, out of there by now, you know, and yeah, it took me another hour again before I finally got out of there, but hey, here we are, getting out of there, so now we're good to go, cleaned everything up, and uh, in 800 feet, take the entrance to the right on I-39 South, I-90 East, US 51 South. Had us a good bite to eat and uh, all that good stuff. So uh, we must get out of here now if we want to ever get to our delivery place on time, I guess you could say. But they have gotten a good amount of snow up here, that's miles. for sure. To the left on I, I also made sure that I uh, filled up my windshield washer fluid. That's a good idea to do that whenever it's crappy weather like this. Make sure whenever you do make a pit stop that you do fill that up. That way uh, you don't get down the road and an hour down the road, you, you know, you got the buzzer going on low, low uh, windshield washer fluid, right? And trust me, I used a gallon of that in the last two and a half hours, so and uh, the Volvo has got a big container. It can hold up to two gallons of windshield washer fluid on this truck anyways. So, you know, I can usually go a pretty good distance before I need to fill her up again. But if I let her go low, man, it, she takes two full gallons. I've tested it a couple of times. But yeah, we also looked at the weather and uh, when we was over there parked and uh, it looks like they're still getting kind of mixture of snow and ice and all that there in Chicago so we're not going to go through Chicago we're going to take us a 40 mile detour and, and go around Chicago so uh, that way we avoid all of that but here we are hammer down hammer down got good roads now as you can see little bit of wet but not much even so that's even better oh yeah all right guys we are now past Bloomington Illinois that is yeah we're on I-74 now looks like we got us about two hours up to Indianapolis yeah that's right but hey we managed to escape all of that uh, ice and all of that we got a little bit of a drizzle there but that was it nothing major and as you can see it's still cloudy that means we're still probably in that system a little bit but for the most part i think we managed to avoid a big section of it so uh hopefully by us heading east there towards indy and all that we'll be able to uh, escape most of it 
I already looked it up on where we can stop for the night and it will probably be right there at the Indiana Ohio state line right there there's a big petrol truck stop there I'm thinking I'm gonna try and make my way up to there and just call it a day over there that'll probably put me at a little over 600 miles for the day that'll be good enough for me yes indeed that will be very nice actually but in the meantime we're just gonna keep our eyes open the temperature is starting to uh, starting to really get nice over here it's actually only like right around minus four Celsius which is you know a little bit into the freezing but nothing bad you know like it's even if it was to snow right now I think it's too warm right now for it to really stick onto the uh, onto the road so I don't think it would be too bad just trying to keep that windshield clean so you guys can see something out of the window and that's usually a challenge in winter time you know like trying to well it's in a challenge in the summer too the only time it's really not a challenge is in spring or a little bit past spring and then in fall like you know in spring you get all this snow melting and then you get slushy roads then it happens too right but like right now you know if they put salt down and it's wet roads and you get the spray from other vehicles and all that stuff on you onto your windshield you get all kinds of dirt onto your windshield and sometimes it's really difficult to keep that windshield clean but yeah i mean there's not really too much snow out here i'm surprised at that you know like it's uh been super cold in manitoba and i mean i don't know how cold it's gotten over here but you know hardly any snow up here so that's nice to see so that means uh, you know, the further south we go, the better we're going to have it. But uh, hey, looks like some flurries are starting to come right now. Speaking of it, <laughs> I was hoping I could avoid most of this and so far I have, but oh well, if it snow, it snows, right? What can I say, right? Just the way it is. Well, we'll continue on with our journey. I think we got us probably another probably three three and a half hours to go yet yeah probably three and a half hours to go yet before we're done for today and it's right now it's about quarter to four so that means about quarter after seven I think we should be there so that's not too bad considering so that means I've been working real hard today and if I can do it then that, that's just great you know quarter after seven I'll be there it means about quarter after five I can get it going tomorrow and that'll be awesome that way I could be down there fairly early and get out of this system right I have a mistake, eh? yeah what am I gonna have I don't know you can only order from the dollar menu I got steak and bacon. Right there, left. <laughs> yeah, I can't make up my mind. What do I want?
starting to fall asleep in the corner. Look. Hello? <laughs> I don't want to go to sleep because I go to sleep, that, that's going to be it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no kidding. But you don't you, you know what a porter is, right? A porter is no. the same thing as a, as, a, as a person that cleans up. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. Since we have to wait, the meal's on you, right? <laughs> <laughs> Can we work out a dessert maybe or something? <laughs> no, I thought we could do better. I'm than cheap, that. I'm not sleazy, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I think I'm going to go with the spaghetti. That's all you do. All right, and you also get soup and salad, okay? Oh, cool. Awesome. And he's paying, he said. Oh, I heard right. him say that earlier. I got it on See, video. That's, what, that's the that's reason why he was trying to tell me I was paying. <laughs> And I had to wait on him. You, you see, that's kind of messed up. Yeah. Right? No, sorry about that. <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> I just didn't want it to fall down. Well, I that? definitely don't want to be at fault with that either. See that? Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do the uh, New York strip dinner. How would you like your New York? Over easy. Oh, uh, yeah, over easy. Really? Well, I can do over easy. It's oh, kind of like man, raw. I'm tired of he is from New York, so Medium. that's why he likes New York. Yeah. Medium. You're not doing breakfast, right? I've had a long few days. Oh, okay, I was just... And I'm, I'm a little lost for me from last night. I was going to say, hey, I worked third shift oh, last night and came in. I had to be here four today, so I understand. <laughs> My brain's just going, okay, whatever you say, lady. Yeah, yeah. It's like baked potato, mashed potato, french fries, grilled vegetables. Um, uh, french fries. French fries. How do you like your eggs? <laughs> eggs? Well, what do I know in the eggs? <laughs> and you both get soup and salad okay the troublemaker that he is <laughs> i see this <laughs> thank you i just take advantage when he's tired oh. i got to all right guys we have just received our supper let's take a look look at that guy over there i mean a nice fine steak and he's putting that crap on there if you don't like it go somewhere go somewhere <laughs> here a1 baby a1 <laughs> So what do you think? That steak is going to be any good? I hope so, but 
if I pass out, you gotta catch, just throw me in my truck and close the door. Don't worry about it. I, I'll take it from there. All right, all right. You heard it from the man. So we're hungry, so we're gonna get to eating. At least he is more than I am, but you know. And I had to wait on him. He took forever to get here. Yeah. And I said, I'm buying. And he still was late. Yeah, I'm still late. Whatever. You know, he's still buying. <laughs> You're watching the Trucker Rudy show. This is Angelo. We want everybody to have a happy holiday and a good Christmas and a happy new year. All right? From my family to yours. All right, guys. You guys be safe. Bye. All right, guys. It is actually the next morning. And uh, we had us a good meeting here yesterday. I meet up with uh, Angelo. Yes, indeed. Oh, yeah. It's actually the next morning right now. And that the uh, sun is not quite showing up yet, but uh, it's looking better than it was yesterday, right? Yesterday we had that white stuff on here on the ground, so today that's not the case, not too much anyways. Looks a little slick out here on the parking lot, but other than that, it looks all right. So uh, I guess we'll get ready and uh, get a new day started so i appreciate you guys tuning in on today's vlog and uh be sure to t tune in again tomorrow so uh for another episode of the trucker rudy show yes so with that being said give me a big fat thumbs up and share this video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new to our channel or you know at the end of the video on the top right hand corner on one of the corners there i leave the button to subscribe so uh, go ahead and hit that do me a favor and tell your friends about it so with that being said how we'll go on we'll see you on the next one this has been trucker rudy <laughs>